This video is brought to you in association with Restream.io, the best website for multi-streaming to more than 30 channels. Sup guys, Sneakyjurs here and today we're looking at these three popular encoders X264, VCE and NVENC. These are the three encoders with different features, by which you can stream high-quality videos in real-time. First of them, X264, is a software encoder, available for everyone. It gives off the best quality at the moment, but needs a beefy CPU, which is a limiting factor for many users, who have to sacrifice resolution or FPS. The most popular alternative are encoders from NVIDIA and AMD, available at latest video cards from these manufacturers. Streaming quality with those encoders will be a bit worse, but with them your CPU will be almost free of usage. I decided to see how those encoders will behave in different test cases with small bitrate. 2.5, 3.5 and 4.5 megabits per second. To give you a better idea on the distortion, three testing scenes were recorded. They were set up as a regular stream and watching them will see which encoder is the best. All comparison videos can be viewed in 9 minutes, so to save your time I render them into a separate video, which I recommend you to see if you are interested in a detailed comparison. The link to it is in the top right corner. There will also be a link to downloading original videos with settings there. In the current video we'll be looking at a series of screenshots, at which we'll be able to compare the amount of blur and artifacts. Keep in mind that it's not the most representative comparison, because of different FPS and different keyframes positions in each video. So let's take a look at 720p 30fps 2.5 megabits per second, since these are default OBS settings. In a static scene X264 shows the best details. AMD's encoder in its current implementation blurred some of those details, and Nvidia finally overrun AMD in encoding static images. In the average dynamics scene, image on the edges of the screen is sharp, some blurriness is visible in the middle, but all details are distinguishable. AMD's encoder makes almost no difference. All details are visible and you can read the text pretty well. For NVIDIA's screenshot I was unable to get the same frame, it was skipped by the encoder. But it's fair to repeat all said above, text is readable, details are in their places. And now let's see how X264 behaves in the hardest scene. The face is very blurred and text on the left is hard to read. The next frame is missed on the AMD's encoder demo and we can see that the quality is slightly worse, but the face looks like a mess and the pipe on the gun looks pixelated. And it looks like Nvidia had a keyframe on this one since it showed a slightly better image than 264. So as you can see all three encoders in their current state do a good job, but while it was the maximum quality settings for the video cards, CPU used a very fast profile, which isn't capable of showing the best quality image. Of course, X264 very fast is still better than hardware encoders from AMD and Nvidia, but they are already in a state when they can compete with X264. This allows even streamers with low-end CPUs give off a good image for their viewers. And if you want to get rid of the blur you get on your stream, you can always increase your bitrate. And if you say are going to stream to YouTube, it won't care at all. YouTube will give off the best quality image to your viewers and it won't lag for them. Because YouTube is going to transcode your stream to something that will fit YouTube's standards. And if you are capable of high bandwidth streaming, you will want to give your viewers the best experience they can get. But other platforms like Twitch are not going to transcode your source stream for you. So if you want to stream to multiple platforms with the highest quality available, you should consider streaming through Restream.io, because they recently launched a beta testing of their new transcoding service. It works pretty simple. You send a stream with a huge bitrate to Restream.io and they send a transcoded stream to your chosen service. And this new transcoded stream will both look great and be viewable for people with bad internet connection. You can use it for free for now if you're signed for beta testing, but in the future you'll have to pay for it. And if you want to save some money, you can use my promo code SNEAKY. It'll give you a 35% discount. This is everything I wanted to tell you about current state of encoders. I remind you that there is a separate video with a better comparison I encourage you to watch. Sneaky Joe is here, good luck and have fun. And remember, if you like this video, please perform YouTube routine. Have a nice day.